There's our new pilot. I'm sure you're raring to take off. Before you go, do you want to hear about my time in space? What do you want to know about the Hourglass Twins? You're just jumping straight into the big questions today. The Ashwin Project is the whole reason you and I are getting to talk like we are right now. Well, we're gonna die pretty fast this time. Oh, is that? Was that where we were gonna teleport to? Well, this is the one we'd explore next. Okay, it's our favorite time. It's my favorite time. Besides the times I prove that I'm a genius, in fact, um, it's the ship log time. Let's see what we got from that. I feel like Ashwin Project we're not gonna get until we get to the sealed vault. Yeah, we didn't get anything for that. An advanced warp core is proof for installation in the central chamber of Ash Twin. Okay, see, like, how do we get to that? We're gonna try that final one that I was looking at. That I think I just was too late. Uh, is it time yet? I've been waiting. I... for two minutes. Yeah, there's one appearing. Oh, is this the twins one, too? This is like the one I wanted. Oh. Yeah! Yeah, I meant for that! I meant to find that. And then we could stick it in the hole of the one that had the hole. I don't remember which one had the hole. But we can! Yeah! You're my child. We're gonna set you down right here. Can we not set my child down right there? Because that would be real ideal. Okay, this feels like a scrolly scroll room. No, it's not. This is a scrolly scroll room, though. Read. Friends visiting the Hanging City. We are planning the Ash Twin Project at the High Energy Lab on Ember Twin's e equator. I became lost on Ember Twin. My gratitude that Rami found me, but the High Energy Lab is the building with the large slurs panels. I'm surprised I didn't see it. Imagine our otherwise immensely clever Kanoi would lose his head if it weren't anatomically possible. Was this what I was... I found this scroll at some point. It's so rude. Okay, we're gonna go stand and wait on this one until we go somewhere. Cause I think I've used the other one, but did I use this one? Wait, will I die if I do this? I feel like I'm gonna die. Like... Wah! Wah! Intentional... Definitely intent- Did I have to do that while I was waiting? Is this the Ash Twin Project? It's so cool! Okay, I can't, can't pay attention to the details. Oh my god, it is! This is the weird room! 14 minutes until end of cycle transmission. Maths for receiving data from probe tracking mile, giant steep memory statue, timber heart memory statue. Eight minutes, 17 seconds ago, received data from previous cycles. Oh, there's only, these are, these are the only masks in existence. Memory statue map, oh shit, there was a thing that didn't, wasn't there. Hopefully I find it, is that it over there? Today we finished the excavation of Ash Twin. Here in the space we carve, we will craft our most ambitious project yet. The Ash Twin Project. Powerful enough to send information back in time. How far we've come since our experiments at the High Energy Lab, I still can hardly believe Rami's hypothesis was true. We've also finished relocating all subterranean plants we met while digging. We need to keep our eyes on how significantly we've altered the environment here. Poke just sent the warp core for the final tower to us from the Black Hole Forge. Now Ash Twin can be connected with Giant Steep where Kasava is working with Avens to craft the orbital probe cannon and where Phlox is sculpting the memory statues. Hypothesis. It was not by accident the core of our warp tower was the last to be forged. Hypothesis. The cores could have been forged faster if Kasava had interrupted my work less frequently to ask for updates. The important point is we are all connected through Ashwin now and also that I'm no longer needed for mediating your disagreements. 
Our friends on Giant Steep tested the orbital probe cannon today. Mala tells me the cannon is doing well, and that Avens advocates for more launch power. If anyone can coax the maximum power from a device, Avens can. But then if anyone can go to device into exploding, that too is likely Avens. Perhaps I should check in with the orbital probe cannon crew in the interest of safety. Would it help to remind Avens that Malo, his love, will be one of the Nomai aboard the cannon? Or is Malo part of the problem? Flox and Daz finished the memory with statues today, and they are truly remarkable. When the Ashwin project succeeds, or in the event it fails, the memory statues will activate, allowing us to gather more data before we shut down the project. Pi and Adea have worked hard on the sun station, and it is at last complete. If everything goes as planned, this structure will prompt the sun's explosion, which will in turn supply the power the Ashwin project requires. I'm impressed by their mental fortitude. This was the project's most difficult task in more ways than one. We're nearly ready to activate the Ashwin project. Here's what will happen. First, the sun station will receive the order to fire at the sun, prompting it to explode. Using the energy from the resulting supernova, the Ashwin project will send the order for the orbital probe cannon to fire back in time by 22 minutes. This is what's causing the loop. I couldn't figure out that detail. It was, it was the fact that the sun goes supernova and the Ashwin project finally has power, so it's just running autonomously and sending us back in time because we looked at the memory statues. This is so good. Exactly 22 minutes after these orders are received, the sun station will again trigger the supernova to send the probe data from the scan and launch back in time. In total, each cycle created by the Ashwin project will last precisely 22 minutes. We can end this cycle at will. These words are difficult to write. The sun station did not work. Suppose we redesign the sun station to generate power of that na magnitude. A supernova is still our only viable option. However, this is the closest we've ever been. The Ash Twin project is theoretically sound. We are only unable to power it. Perhaps there is another way. I believe we can still find a way to create a supernova, my friend. Don't lose hope. This is easier expressed than accomplished. You can wait for the sun to explode on its natural timeline if you prefer, Adea, but you'll need to find some way to halt our aging process. We are halting our research into creating a supernova for this moment. A comet has newly arrived in the solar system and we're anxious to explore it. It's been a very long time since we last explored somewhere new, so we're excited to welcome this comet. Imagine what knowledge might be gained there. This is just so sad. That was like their last thing. They were in the middle of this, working on things, and then the comet came and they all died so abruptly. Yaro, my gratitude for the latest shipment, Ono. Oh this ore should be the last we'll need for the Ash Twin project. Once we finish, the shell that seals off the central chamber will check to ensure there are no longer any physical- Yeah, this is one I read earlier on. Are all of the ones from original- from earlier here right now? I can't believe I just like kind of panic stumbled into this. Now I'm just like sad. I have good news, Yara. The advanced core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of the Ash Twin. I'm intrigued, love. Everyone here working on the Ashwin project is excited to see it. Pi is beside herself with joy. No, it isn't. Oh, yeah. We read this. Giant Steep. Is this the memory stone one? I've installed the masks inside the Ashwin project, Flox. They look beautiful, although I do feel as though I'm being observed. It's comforting to know the statues would not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I can imagine the experiences would be hard to endure. Ideally, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds as a safety measure. However, these statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. They will? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it'd be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I haven't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. Artificial gravity control. What is this? What happens when we... No. What is this? You're about to access the core while the Ashwin project is active. Do we want to do that? <gasps> uh, 
Oh, we have to turn off their gravity, don't we? What is this core? Oh my god. Remove warp core? Why would we do that? Why would we do this? Why do we have this? We have this thing. I want the happy music stopped. I don't even know how we leave. Okay, so that's what was powering everything. I have this warp core and I don't know what to do with it. I assume we're supposed to put it... ...somewhere? In here. Will we be able to teleport back? Maybe we just... It's outside that we're supposed to take it. I didn't see anything else. What do we do with this? I ended up here on accident and now I have this thing on accident. Okay, we have to access the core. But why? Why do we have this? Oh my god, are we already at the end? How? Also, did the music change? I thought we had plenty of more time. Did I send that long reading? I did stutter a lot because I was really into what we discovered. Oh, so this only aligns with the other planet's equator when it's going... Oh, oh my god, this is so obvious now. That's why it worked. Why is this playing this version of the music? Are we about to die? This is really epic! What's going on? Oh shit. Ship! Ship, come back! Oh, it did. That's kind of perfect. Are we about to die? Like, what's going on? I- I took the warp- Is this gonna end the fucking loop? Did I fuck up? Is this the final loop? Is this- I don't think I was supposed to do this. I don't think I was- I was supposed to do this at all. At least right now. Where is this going? Maybe it goes to one of the towers. Uh-oh. Well, I guess this is a way to get to the ship. Please take me. Why is this happening? Why is this really, really awesome version of the soundtrack playing? I'm just holding this thing. I'm just here, man. We're supposed to do something and I don't know what we're supposed to do. Um. Okay. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to our home planet and so I can land somewhere and read the logs. At least we get this bop. This absolute banger is going and I feel emotional and I don't know why. Fuck. This was... It's crazy to me how much of an accident this was for me to discover all this. Yes! Okay. We still haven't figured out anything from the Hanging City. 
There is a warp drawer. The hollowed out. Okay, yeah. There's an advanced warp core inside the protective casing at the center. Removing the core will disable the Ashwin project. The Ashwin project was designed to use the energy from a supernova to send probe data from the orbital cannon probe 22 minutes in the past. But the masks aren't attached to it. Three of the masks are actively receiving data from the probe tracking module. Oh no. So are we gonna fucking die? Fuck. Okay. Fuck. Fuck. F uh, I mean, fork. Fork. Um. Is this like, it's, I think this is like, we have to have figured out everything else to be doing this. Wait, okay. Okay, wait, the vessel. The warp core broke inside when the ship crashed in Dark Britain. It has a broken warp core. And, um. Okay, so there's a broken warp core. And we have a warp core. Grasp it at straws. Do we go in there? Do we try to find the vessel? Do we even know how to find the vessel? Why is everything damaged? This is this is not a great time. I'm scared. I don't know what happens if I don't figure this all out in one go. Like, maybe the game, it, the masks are unrelated, but, uh... Got a bad feeling. Got a bad feeling I did a bad thing. Okay, we have this. We're getting close to the end. Do we see what happens if I don't finish things off? I don't... I don't know how to find the vessel. I should have found the vessel first. I still don't even know anything about Giant's Deep. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Where's... Who would know? Who would have knowledge on what's going on? Um, shirt? That's Brittle Hollow. Shirt, shirt, I feel best dying with you. If this is like somehow I fucked up the whole run. I'd like to die with you instead, shirt, my friend. Shirt, shirt, I have this warp core. Oh, hello. Come sit with me, fellow traveler. Let's sit together and watch the stars die. If it helps, we're in a time loop, question mark. So we won't really die. Sure, why not? We only get so much time, don't we? Oh, there's still more I wanted to do. How unlucky to have been born at the end of the universe, all church. I know we're not. We're in a time loop, we're, theoretically, unless I messed it up just now. But it's so, like... The no my didn't really have this option that we did to be in a time loop and maybe we're gonna save ourselves somehow. Maybe we take this to the vessel once I know where the vessel is and... And then we use that to leave the universe. You are dead! I did fuck up the time loop. Oh my, oh my god. So, okay, well, I was right that this messes up the time loop when you take it out. I needed to do something with it, but I hadn't finished figuring everything out. What happens now? I'm sorry, credits people. I'll let the credits roll when I figure it out. Load previous save. So I shouldn't unlock Ash Twin until the end. I don't think it previously said on the game load previous ex or previous save. I think it said resume expedition. And that's because I messed up the whole game. I destroyed everything. There was no looping anymore. I I don't imagine I get the little
We don't have the warp core, right? Do we get another save? The ship's log stayed. That feels unfair. Like, like I didn't earn that. Okay, so... I'm just processing right now. I might need to take a little baby break because that was... Churn. I, I just doomed an entire universe because I didn't know the consequence of my action. I, I was like, I knew the warp core was powering. I knew that. I just... I needed to see, and then I regretted it. Um, anyways, so I think we have to find the vessel so we can do a little swap a -roo. But, but, we have to find Escape Pod 3 to do that, I think. I think it's going to just tell us where the stuff, the, fi the final clue we need to find the vessel. So, my next guess, my next guess here of what I should be doing is actually ocean depths figuring that out and to figure that out i think we should go to the southern observatory and and because there was like something about they had found out something had sunk beneath the current on giant steep so what i'm going to do is yeah see so ocean current discovery is go to the southern observatory uh and then find out that and then theoretically I'll be able to get into the bottom and then find the probe tracking module. Oh yeah, because I wonder if they were able to send in for- what was the information they wanted to send back? The eye of the universe! The coordinates of the eye of the universe! Okay, so they're sending- so then when the supernova happens we get the coordinates for the eye of the universe? So do they already have it because we've been on the loop? So then if we if we can find go to beneath the ocean's depths and then find the probe tracking module, we'll be able to to find the eye of the universe coordinates and then something. Okay, no 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. So we take the warp core after they we know the coordinates, we put it in the vessel and then we get to go to the eye of the universe and see the eye of the universe. And then we still die to a supernova. Or maybe we're safe on the eye of the universe because like Solanum is alive and both dead simultaneously, Schrodinger's state of being life. Um, I don't know. That's my now theory after <laughs> what I just did over there. Oopsie daisy. So this is the plan, but I'm going to go get myself lunch first and take a little baby break because I think I earned that after this trauma I just caused to myself. Okay. I ate my lunch. We are going to the Southern Observatory, which means we gotta go fast. We're gonna go land on the gravity cannon side of Brittle Hollow, and then we're gonna hopefully be able to make it there without it just having been abruptly broken off. We'll find out. If that doesn't work, then we have to go the Ribic by the Ribic way, um, which could also work. It's just, this seems like the easier route. Okay, if I remember correctly, this is the Southern Observatory path. Yep. And we just gotta go. As fast as we can. You can't catch me, I'm the Ginger Rebecca. Here we go. Now, this looks still fucked up. I'm about to get dropped. Unless I get dropped right. Okay. And down. Let's just take me to the. Did I? <gasps> 
I can't tell if that's the quantum tower or if this is actually the southern observatory that I'm making my way towards. Wow, okay. This is a parkour, parkour kind of place I'm understanding now. Dun, 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 da, 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 da. Uh, oh, oh, oh! I see. I see the things that we gotta stand on. Okay. And those are broken. Okay, made it to these ones. Are we going to the Hanging City? I don't think so. Okay, thanks for just dumping me here. Okay. I got I got what we're doing. I think we're going this way. That's not really close by. Oh, fuck. Okay. That's fine. Where do we go from here? Oh, shit. Okay, we gotta... Oh, no, this... I did the right thing! I did the right thing, I think. We, like, made our way past... I'm hoping I'm going the right way here, but I'm not sure. Or did I just do a loop-de-loop? -loop? I can't tell if I just did a loop-de-loop. -loop. No, we gotta go across. Phew! Okay. This is looking dicey. Okay. And then... What is this? How do... Okay, this is the quantum tower. Did I do this thing correctly? Let me up. Like, where are you at? It's all like this was. This was not that far away, and I'm like, I don't believe that. I have no idea where the Southern Observatory is. We're running low on fuel, on hopes, dreams. When I fly into the black hole, I'm just literally starting the loop. It's not like anything has been discovered of importance here. I'm just gonna assume I actually just went the past where I was supposed to. Which isn't great, because that's a massive waste of my fuel. Okay, so... Nope. Nope, not this time! Like, did they intend for this to be like this, or is this just broken? I have to assume it's, it's like, a little broken. And okay, it still leads to the same place here. Like, I'm still gonna have to jump out of this. Oh, phew. But I messed this up last time somehow. Is that it right there? Ooh. 
please. Somebody grab me. No! Okay. Then we see where this goes. And then... We follow you to where we see that, which has to be it. Like, how do we get up to that? Do we just, like... Now that we've gone here, we can... Yeah? And then into this? And then Black Hole Forge? Yes! Yes! Ah, oh, God, love finding these things out. Not going in that. Don't know what that is and don't need to know. Are those the giant steep cyclones? Yes, this is the, the study. Kasama's construction yard has been using the cyclones on Giant Steep to lift orbital probe cannon parts into orbit, but one component was pushed down past the current that usually prevents anything from sinking. Spire and I are crafting a model determined why this happened. An update, it's not clear there are two different types of cyclones. Most cyclones on Giant Steep rotate clockwise. These are the cyclones Kasava typically uses to send components into orbit. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters and below the current. My gratitude, Spire. Kanoi is showing me your handiwork, and I'm intrigued by this secondary type of cyclone. But was it really necessary to build a model to tell me that? The model will be useful as we continue monitoring Giant Steep. Also, I very much wanted to make a model. Okay, so this is... Clockwise, we go up. Okay. And then counterclockwise we go down. This is so simple, it's brilliant. I literally had no idea. Look how cool this building is. Ooh. A thing we can read. This is maybe the easiest thing that I should have figured out a long time ago. Can I doubt? Kanoi, Daz, and I were lifting orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly and one by one, and one somehow sank down beneath the current. Kanoi, you should have seen it. We thought it was impossible. Okay, yep, yeah, but we, we read all... Oh, are these like ones we haven't read? Where does this show us? Neat. Yeah, it's the construction yard that we've already seen. Now what's over here? Oh, it's just a way out. Yup. But, what about up? Is up worth exploring? I have to pee so badly right now. But we finally know what we need to do and it's pretty straightforward. What is this? No. Whoa! So it's the planets? Oh, it's a model of the planets. It's a map. Look at my map. I'm building a beautiful one. It's all of them. Oh, and the eye. Oh. Oh, jeez. Okay, so the eye is very confusing. Unable to determine orbit. No signal detected matching any known criteria for the eye of the universe. Is there a thing to read over here? Yeah. What have we learned thus far in our search for the eye of the universe? Based on our knowledge of the quantum moon, we believe the eye is in orbit around the star system sun. This would mean the eye is located within a finite, albeit enormous, range. Those of us on the vessel originally followed the eye signal to the star system, but we are unable to warp to the eye itself. The locator we built on the Adel Rock and the new, more sensitive locator we built here were both unable to detect any trace of the eye's signal. Suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found. Hypothesis, the eye has stopped emitting its signal. Kasava, how can you suggest that? The eye's signal called out to summon us to this star system. I'm aware, I grew up hearing the eye's story, yet we're no closer to finding it than you were when you first arrived here. Wow. 
What a downer. Also, Addle Rock apparently has stuff too that I maybe should explore. How should our methods change as we continue our search for the eye of the universe? We know what the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon, so what if we try to find the eye visually instead? Let's send out a probe. We need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover those long distances quickly. A cannon in orbit around a celestial body would circumvent the need to escape gravity's pull. Giant Seep would be a good choice. It's furthest from the sun, so it would provide the best angles for launch, and it's moonless, except when the quantum moon is visiting. Let's go build- yes, let's build the cannon in orbit around Giant Seep. As we couldn't find the eye signal using two different devices built for this exact purpose, we should discuss discontinue the search method. Mala's eye is clever, but we have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. I believe I have a solution for the problem. Have you spoken with Ramia and Pi about the technology that they're developing? Ugh, they were all working together to discover what was like their entire... Like, the eye for them was the end-all, be-all, everything they wanted to do ever, and they never made it. We're gonna make it for them! But it's so sad. And that's where the stuff comes out, and that's the symbol. <gasps> I'm here! I did it! I put the ship down safely. Um, and that the ship went down, and I didn't sustain any bodily harm. A few minor repairs, and it's like the ship never even hit those rocks. One of my better attempts. Feldspar would have barely laughed at me, I bet. That's the good news. The bad news is, uh, I haven't found a way inside the structure yet. The door is broken, and I know I'm not great ex exploring, but I think I would have found a different entrance by now if there were one. P probably. I can't get inside from here, but I know there are paths below the surface. I'm gonna head north to the ruins on the equator to try to find a way down. Ugh, part of me wants to tell... Rivert? Don't even remember name. I'm so sorry, friend. Okay, we're gonna try to make it back to our ship now. That's the goal. And then we're gonna go giant steep and see if we can do a two for one loop. Wow. We made it back to the ship, all right. We do need to repair things. Can you, can you, thank you. Okay. And yeah. And now we go to Giant Steep and we look for the counterclockwise cyclone. It's so simple. It's brilliant. Okay, okay, one is going the opposite way. Two. Wait, no. One of you. That's the way things should go. Both of you. Now, flying this is, uh, really terrible. You're going... to the left. You're going to the left. You're going to the... Uh, clockwise. You... aren't. You are not! I don't think. Right? We'll find out. Yes! Oh my god. Giants. Oh, 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 jellyfish. Will we die if we go to this jellyfish? I'm gonna try to push the jellyfish down. This might be... <laughs> okay. Feldspar had a hint here with this. Wait, did the jellyfish leave? Okay, new thought. I'm gonna shoot this jellyfish with a scout thing. And see if that... Excuse us. I would like to make it down. Hmm. How did we do this? 
But we can't go down. I'm just gonna try it. Fuck it. Hmm. Okay, so the jellyfish were important. But how do we breach it? <gasps> I guess that was the ship hole breach detected. Okay, so the jellyfish are the next part of the puzzle. We have to do something with the jellyfish. I'm gonna try going up and under with the ship with the jellyfish to see if that works. Can the ship do that? Felsar did it in his suit, so if the ship doesn't work, maybe we just try it in our... This feels wrong. Today on things that feel incorrect. Ah! Okay, so that was wrong. Not feeling good about this. Can you go down? Like, we're just trying to go up and under. Oh no, 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 no. That jellyfish is going way too close. He's sinking down. Maybe we ride it down. Maybe. Okay, so I think the legs are the bad part. But if we could touch... Just this. Get to this. Yes. Oh my god, we're in the jellyfish. Does this protect us? Did we do it? Are we through? I'm so scared. I don't know if we're doing the right thing. It says ship's log updated! We did it! Where are we? This feels awful. I hate this. New discovery. I hate, I hate this. What is this? Okay, we're inside Giant's Deep and found a rock. Not to be a naysayer, but this sucks. Oh wait, 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 wait. I was just staring at the rock and that's not actually the important thing here. This is. Can you, can we go into this? Okay, so that's why he gave us that hint and that's why there was a note inside there. I guess the ship's too big. I wonder if I could have done it with the ship and I gave up early. Well, doesn't matter. Somebody please let me. Okay. Oh, there's notes on the other side. Let's go look at that. And... Ash Twin projection. I bet we know what this is going to be. Yep. And this is probably going to be that note we've seen a few times. How exciting news that he is prepared to receive probe data from the orbital cannon. Yep. Yep. The eye of the universe! Yeah, it's gonna give us that. Okay. Launch module projection stone. Imagine, Privet, the probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see him! We saw this so long ago. I am honored and terrified. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to you so much power that it breaks, will you? Fret not, my nervous friend. Yep. Aww, these poor little babies. Oh, and this is the space one. Yeah, it's all coming together. We're gonna get the eye of the universe now. Okay. I mean, we've we've given it enough power, so theoretically, it should give us this. Is it the final one? Okay, yeah, you look weird and different. Receiving stored coordinates from Ash Twin. 
Displaying coordinates of the eye of the universe. So we have it. That's that's eye of the universe coordinates. I'm scared that I didn't find everything I was supposed to here. I guess it's not that hard to get back here though. If I'm wrong, how do we die? Um, I'm just gonna double check the other things to make sure there's not another thing. So we got the Eye of the Universe coordinates. Are y'all gonna free yourselves? No? They made all of this and didn't live. You know, but knowing the Nomai, they would have been delighted that their work led to people eventually finding the eye of the universe. If that's gotta be where we're going. I'm back. Nothing. Okay. Oh. Whoa. Receiving data from probe. Visualizing current trajectory of probe. Okay, can we get this other one to work? Maybe we just gotta give it a minute to play out. This is on me for being extremely impatient. I just skipped to the end. Retrieving previous launch data from Ash Twin. Total number of probes launched, 9 million. Deep State's anomaly matching all known criteria for the eye of the universe found by probe 9,318,54. Oh, that ship log updating meant we needed to do that. Happy I redid all of that. Okay. We're gonna die doing this and it feels bad. But we know what we need to now and that's the important thing. Oh. Ship ship. Ship ship. Shockingly I lived through that. Come back to me baby. Baby come back. Ah, oh, you can lay it all on me. Did ship ship go above? Ship ship, I see you. I see you, my lovely child. We've really had to travel a lot this day, haven't we? We weren't expecting that. I think he did go above. Because I think that's the current right there. Can we go above? We have to if ship ship could. Whoosh! Okay. Where's your broken thing? Yeah, this is only going to be really hard to fix like this. You know what? Don't need an electrical system to go find Gabra and be like, I found everything you ever wanted to know. What is that, though? Like, how are we supposed to... I've not figured that one out yet. Like, okay, go in the bell of it. Oh, they're just studying the jellyfish. That's probably all that was. That thing that I stared at for a very long time. Okay, and here we should probably be able to fix this more easily. 
No, we can't. Never mind. Yeah, bro. A few loops ago, a cyclone came by and tossed my little island in space. Dying like that was kind of unpleasant. How do you fa stay so calm in the face of repeated impending death? Deep breaths. No, seriously, I meditate. Want me to teach you? I'll, it'll be the next week before you know it. Sure, why not? Okay, close your eyes. Is this going to be the end of the loop? Oh my god. It is. Well, I was going to tell them about stuff, but whatever.